And we're back. Today, I'm trying to be the best general manager I could possibly be because I am attempted to win as many championships in the role. But of course, like always, there's a catch. These are the traditional settings that we play with in every single rebuild. As you can see, it is 50s down the line. Every time we win a championship, our sim difficulty goes up five. Our trade negotiation difficulty goes up five. So we're trying to see how many we can win in a row when we know every single season it's going to be harder than the last. Also, to make sure that we're still doing trades, we cannot keep the same starting lineup every single year, which means that once at least one starter has to be traded every season. Are we ready? Are we locked in? Leave a like, subscribe. Let's get into it. We start off here where we randomly select the team. I will not land on the 76ers. I will not land on the 76ers. We land on the Mavericks. And the only reason I'm saying that is because the last couple videos we've had the 76ers. So I, I didn't want to replicate that. The Dallas Mavericks. Oh, I wish I did have the 76ers. The Dallas Mavericks are going to have pick number 23. Lucky number 23. This is our roster. This is the easy part. The easy part is winning the first championship. The video ends when we don't win the championship. So... Uh, the, the, the first one, <laughs> again, the first one should be the easiest one. So we do start off with Jalen Brown, who's under contract for six seasons. So that is a position that we shouldn't have to worry about at all. He's a stud. He's a stud in simulation. He's a guy to keep around, potentially. Jalen Brunson, also a stud, but a guy that's maybe not as safe as Jalen Brown. We have Yusuf Nurkic, not safe. We have Jabari Smith Jr. as the young piece, the young trade value piece at four-star value. Our first round pick, three and a half, or two and a half star value. Uh, okay, so we got some valuable, valuable pieces that we can move around the association. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. So if we're saying that Jalen Brown is a part of this team, what is the type of player that I think complements him the best? Maybe it is a player that is a guard heavy, a guard because we know he doesn't dribble with his left hand. Is that a joke that's been ran down a lot? Okay, I won't even mention it. We could go guard. I don't end up with John Morant a lot. I never end up with John. I'm trying to get John Morant to start off with. He's a guy that with his young age is going to continue to get better. He also has near perfect value. But we have Jalen Brunson. We have Jabari Smith Jr. We have uh, De uh, DeAndre Hunter. And they need to make up 13 million. That 13 million can simply just be uh, Ke Kelly Olenek. Boom. Kelly Olenek. Deal. No, no, I knew that wasn't going to be enough. But our pick was valuable. Two first rounders is Don, Ja Morant, Jalen Brown. Now, I might move Jalen Brown over to the three. I ain't figured that out just yet. But that's huge. Because Ja Morant is a player that wins MVPs. He continues to grow. I think he maxes out like a 95 overall. So we feel good about that. And there's no 25 game suspension <laughs> that we need to worry about. Mikael Bridges, welcome to the team. No stones unturned. So Mikael, we'd love to have you on the team. But, uh... We, we, we'll throw you in that trade vine and just in case. There's Bam, can run our center, but that's too predictable. Actually, the Mikael Bridges trade is actually too predictable. So I, I will flip Mikael, I just don't know what for yet. I don't I don't want to alienate myself by, you know, doing trades just cause, but I also don't want this team to be the exact same as some of the other teams we've built. So though we do love Mikael Bridges around here, he will be traded just for the, for the sake of being different. You know, I feel like, you know, we turn these weaker players into first-round picks. Romeo Langford, welcome to the team. With a, I think that was a lottery protector first. We throw a couple first-round picks with Mikel Bridges. The ceiling is the roof in the wise, the wise words of Michael Jeffrey Jordan. So just give me some time to flip some first-rounders. There's a 2028 20, pick. We might even keep some of those picks because our goal is to play the game until you can't play the game no more. That's how many championships we want to win in a row. So maybe that pick actually turned out to be the first overall down the line. I don't know. It was completely unprotected. Anthony Dave. Let's see if we can pull something up. We give Mikel Bridges, Bogdanovich. I can't give you Buddy Hill too. You're already an expensive team. Is there any bad contracts on your end? Not really. No bad contracts. So we basically have to just hope that they take first four first round picks for him. I mean, again, I doubt it, but it, it would be kind of, it would be kind of cool. They don't do it. Okay. I didn't expect them to really, but maybe that could still be the like the idea behind it all. But we use this Knicks pick and Kelly Olenek to go get somebody better to pair Mikhail up with. But I mean, this is marginally better. 37 year old Al Horford. I, I guess that could work. It's the best trade that we were offered. And we, and we, yeah, it's the best trade we were offered. That's not great. <laughs> but Big Al at 10 M's. It's probably easier to trade for a rookie scale contract. I don't know what I'm thinking. We, we got to keep going though. Aaron Gordon. See, that's that's an upgrade. That's an upgrade. 
And Aaron Gordon in a fantasy league here, um, or, or 2K fantasy league, absolute stud. Absolute stud. Get, get him on a fast break, it's over with, because he will dunk on your head. And trade for Jaren. I wonder if Jaren and Mikhail, two all-star caliber players, is enough for us to get 30-year-old Anthony Davis. It's gonna have to be three first-round picks if it's gonna happen. If this doesn't happen, then we, we move. Uh, one more second, come on. Okay, we move. I wish it was there, it's not there. This is way more fun. Is it? Is it though? Now that I'm looking at it, is it though? Yeah, it is. Donovan Mitchell, welcome to the team. Jalen Brown, you're moving over to the three. He goes up. We got 390 plus overall guard and wings. Great. Small backcourt, don't matter. He plays bigger than 6'1. He plays bigger than 6'2. So we're good. We even got Miles Turner now, who could low key be our center, but his shooting splits end up looking real bad in simulation. They don't be giving Miles the respect. So we just go get Jaron Jackson Jr. back. <laughs> What a trade. Oh, man. I love finessing general managers, bro. It is my favorite pastime. Traded for Aaron Gordon. It's not ideal to have Jaren run the five because he doesn't rebound great. But a starting lineup looking like this is elite. We should have a backup center that is like just a clean up the glass type dude. Like a Steven Adams type guy. Because uh, I think that'll make us feel a little bit safer with having Jaren as our starting center. But... Boy, that, that, that team feels pretty good, bro. That team like one that can easily win a championship. Especially after getting Corey Kispert, who does nothing but shoot 44% from three every year in simulation. <laughs> I don't know if he's actually going to play for us this year, but he will play for us one year. And eventually he's going to hit 80 overall, and it's going to be a dub. We need rebounding, don't we? <laughs> Undersized, but one heck of a rebounder. One heck of a rebounder. That's coming off the bench. Robert Williams III, that's elite. All right, I even like keeping Buddy healed. Is your contract? Oh, he's on the last year of his deal. If he had an extra year on it, I would keep him around. We won't have the money to bring him back, so I should just flip him now while I can. I got no more first-round picks. That's fine. We just flip him now with Romeo Langford or something. I don't expect to get nothing great back. We'll get back Josh Hart. Same overall player. Uh, Josh Hart also really good rebounding, so that's something. I might make Corey Kispert a two, so just, just so the minutes look better. His overall drops by two. That's actually very interesting in this overall would drop like that. Don't love it. I don't love it. But it might be what we're rocking with. I mean, this is a championship quality team. Off the bench, we have Gabe Vincent, Corey Kisper, Josh Hart, Kevin Love, Robert Williams III. Starting lineup is really, really good. Really, really good. The one thing I want to do, though, before we start simulating is fill out our roster, first of all, because we only got 11 people on the roster, and try to see if we can get some more first-round picks for the future. You know, because we're going to always need ammunition. We're going to always need ammunition to trade for the next superstar, disgruntled star. So, Iggy, Yola O, self, welcome to the team. I went in here looking for a first-round pick. We walked out with John Wall. That's that's pretty good. John Wall is pretty good. So, we'll take it. Braun MVP. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Dallas Mavericks, coach of the year. Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. Okay, John ja Morant was hoping for it. And there you go, Ja. 21, 9, and 5 for Mr. Morant. We got to win this first championship. We got to win this first championship. So as you see, we won 69 games. Um, Donovan Mitchell ended up averaging 22. Jalen Brown, 20. Aaron Gordon, 10. Jaron, 12. And two and a half blocks. We look really good. This should be the easy year. Let's just get through the play-in. We're going against the uh, LA Clips. The Clippers are going to have Trey Young, Anthony Simon, small backcourt, smallest backcourt. And Brandon Ingram, okay, that's an okay team, though. We should be able to beat them, though, in five. There we go. Next, we go against the Minnesota Timberwolves, who have Markel, Clay Thompson, Joel B. Ooh, Joel B got some shooters. He got some shooters. I don't know what J.D. McDaniels is shooting in the game, but in real life, he was near 40%. Or did he hit 40%? I don't remember. Kaminga, maybe less of a jump shot. Markel Fultz, really no jump shot, especially in game. Didn't matter. Sweep. Okay, see Thunder. Let's see who y'all got on y'all roster. The first year, again, is the easy one. Jimmy Butler, okay. Um, <laughs> Jimmy Butler, he's a scary guy. We up 2-0, 3-0. We get to the NBA Finals in five, hopefully. Yes, we do. All right, to go against the 76ers, the team that we said we didn't want to be earlier in the video. They ended up with Tatum, Jalen Brown. Uh, Jalen, we have Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown versus Tatum is cool, though. We have to see Derek White harass Mitchell Robinson. John ja Morant has the most favorable, favorable matchup, and then Aaron Gordon does, too. All right, Ja, come on, Demetrius. Let's get these. Let's get these easy wins in. We lose game one. Jason Tatum's nasty. We win game two. Hopefully, we do. There we. Shit, Jason Tatum's crazy. Seven made threes in that one. We're down two one. Jason Tatum again. All right, let's do this. This is where we just shorten the rotation super heavily, and retire we tie the series. Come on, boys. Big game. We win that one, and we they force a game seven. 
if we lose the first year, I don't even know what what happens to the video. Do we just say that we failed? We gotta at least get to year two. We have to at least get to year two. Oh boy, I wonder what it is exactly. I mean, Capella's killing the glass and rebounding is one of the things that we really struggle with considering our personnel. Let's quickly look over his games because if, if it's rebounding, then we can make the necessary GG. Yeah, he's killing it. This whole series, 11, 11, 10. I mean, this last game was kind of an anomaly. He's good for 10 and 11 a game. That's not a surprise. He could be going against the best rebounder team. He's going to get his. And he, is he doing that off the bench? Because isn't Shingun starting? Yeah. Oh, oh, they, okay. Oh, we can do that too. Y'all want to run double centers? We can too. Come on, Rob. Come on, Rob. Um, even though Rob is one inch taller than Aaron Gordy, but he plays more like a big. So Jaron is going back to his natural position of a four. And then Rob, you're going to be guarding Shingun, and I need you to have the best game of your NBA career. All right, big Rob, what do we do? We win. What are we doing, Dallas? We win. We win playoff series occasionally, more, mostly when Dirk is on the roster. But it looked like we're going to be walking out of here with a dub, and the first year is a wrap. We did it. John Morant wins MVP. And just like that, we get to see it. If we would have lost the first game or the first season, now it is time to do what we said we would, and everything goes to five. Five doesn't seem like something that should make that much of a difference. You feel me? It shouldn't. I mean, maybe it did. Maybe it will. We, we will find out soon. But it feels like a small amount. I could be wrong here. Only time will tell. We don't have a draft pick, so we'll go straight past it. Remember, we cannot bring back the same starting lineup. So one of our starters will be having to, to either get traded or well, not either. That's the only way. Are we just going to wave them? No, we're not just going to wave nobody. We have our mid-level. Um, we should use it on a backup shooting guard probably because Corey Kispert was that. and Because we got a little bit of depth. Now, these two dudes might regress. Not might. Kevin Love is going to regress. But, hey, we hope Kevin Love get another championship. So that's fun. I think there's a stat that says that. Every time Kevin Love has made it to the playoffs, he's made it to the NBA Finals. Somebody fact check that. But I think that's a real stat. And we kind of kept that alive. He played for us, and he was in the NBA Finals. Think about all the teams that ever made it to the playoffs with Kevin Love on it. Those Cavs teams, of course, made it to the championship every time with Braun. And then he didn't make it for some time. And then he ended up getting traded to or signed with Miami middle of the season. And boom, they went on a championship run. So... That's just been the case for the for the man. He just wins. He knows how. And John Moran goes up three. Jaron goes up one. AG goes up one. Only a one overall draw for K-Love. Two for John Wall. One for DFS. Everybody else stays the same. Okay, great. So the player that feels like the odd man out of the starting lineup is Aaron Gordon. Right? It feels like the odd man out. So we'll test the market there. We can also use Kevin Love's contract to make it seem like a little bit bigger of a contract like that we had to make up because that's 23 million plus Kevin Love's only 4 million so we can do uh, 23 million plus 14 million and we have a couple first rounders lottery protected but first rounders are still first rounders and we have to find a guy that we believe is the guy the Shaden Sharp Terry Rozier thing is kind of an interesting idea we, we would flip Terry Rozier but to have another young player that can grow in this challenge is, is I think cool solid 3 point shooter last year 13 points per game they want two of our first rounders. That's the bad part. I don't want to give up two first rounders and Aaron Gordon for Shaden Sharp. Patrick Williams. I, did he be making an absurd amount of money for an 80 overall player who averages eight points per game? Alonzo Ball, when it's interesting too, have him come off our bench, uh, be a floor spacer and uh, uh, run the breaks, hit 40% from three. It's not the perfect fit, but he's Lonzo. Nicholas Claxton is the guy. I am a little bit afraid because he always gets upset. Um, ooh, Jaren goes down as a power forward. He always gets upset. That's one thing we have to monitor. But they sign him to an extension. I don't know how much money it is. It's $23 million. So they sign him to an extension. And as long as he's not upset halfway through the season, we feel good about that. The rest of the team could use a facelift because we got to remember that it will be harder every year. So I got to at least see what DFS and Corey... I know I, I, know I was really excited about having Corey Kispert, but... We got to at least see what we can do with that. I mean, Marcus Smart, he's 30, but he's still an 82. So that's not bad. Marcus Smart could come into this team and, and help us defend and occasionally hit shots. What'd you shoot from three last year? 32% is awful. I hate it. But at the same time, we got to do what we got to do. Marcus Smart, welcome to Dallas. That makes Gabe Vincent and John Wall kind of expendable mostly for a backup shooting guard or a backup power forward. So that's what we got to be thinking about. I want to keep this Atlanta Hawks pick. I don't know what it will turn into. 
but it might be valuable this season. Marvin Bagley's giving us an additional first rounder that's pretty good. I don't know if you want to do that, though. I'm here to cheese the system. Andre Drummond, welcome to the team. Drum Gun is going to run power four for us, and we're going to be the, the one of the best rebounding teams of all time. That's where my head is at. That's where my head is at. Be one of the best rebounding teams of all time. We also need to get a, I mean, somebody that could come off the bench and just get a, get a couple buckets because we don't really have that anymore. So I think that's where we use Olenek and uh, Vazenkov. Get them to get just somebody bucket. He ain't got to be crazy at it. Just somebody that can score. Maybe not it, but Gabe Vincent's coming back. He's got an additional first round pick attached to him. Move Marcus Smart to the two because he, he plays like a two sometimes. Boom, boom, boom. All right, now we got a lineup that I feel better about this year than last. John Moran is going to hit his next step. I don't know if we're going to win 69 games like last season because it will be harder, but we're going to try. No, that ain't who I think it is. John Moran winning MVP. All right, you love to see that. James Harden won six man of the year, yada, yada, yada. Okay, okay. Um, we have the MVP of the league. Should have a home court advantage every single round. Is there any team even close to us? No, we won exactly 69 games again so there was no difference in the five overalls at least in the coming of regular season now in the postseason it could look a little bit differently we get out of the first round at five. <coughs> oh my god second oh my god hold on <laughs> you have an inhale air so wrong that's that's what just happened to me we sweep the second team too to get to the portland trailblazers in the conference finals okay oh luca okay oh and aaron gordon's revenge this team is elite this team is really really good how are y'all only the six seed what did y'all do to only be the six seed? We were 24 games better than them. What am I talking about this team's elite? We're better. Game one. We got the MVP of, our, of the league on our team. Sweep them, boys. Beat them in five. There it is. And we get to go against Nikola Jokic, who we got all the answers for. We got a lot of people. We got Jaren. We got Claxton. We got Rob. He's never getting an off possession. The rest of the team is mid. I don't mean that um, in a bad way. I just mean that, you know. It's kind of me. Cal Lahr is back in Toronto, though, so that's kind of fun for their organization, especially if he can help them win another one. Promise you he won't. They're up 2-0. Oh, 2-1. Actually, he might. Uh, so let's do this right now. We have been running the 10-man rotation all playoffs, and it's been going well. I, 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 I. Um, okay, let's figure this out. Just like last time. Let's figure this out. A.J. Griffin, huh? A.J. Griffin with the big game. He had seven last game, 15. He just exploded in this game and just got straight buckets. That's fine. R.J. Barrett has been a consistent 20. I guess we're okay with that. Jokic has been mid. For Jokic standards, and we're down. So that means our players can't. Donovan Mitchell had two back-to-back -back stinkers, and then he had 40, but it didn't matter. Jalen Brown had a stinker in there, too. Um, Job, Mr. MVP. Come on, buddy. Okay. All right. Um, I wonder if there's... Because I don't know. It didn't look like nobody in the team was, like, dominating. I guess we can try to play the uh, uh, Nikola Jokic game. We find the player that fits him the best. <laughs> yeah. Guarded by Ja Morant. 95. Stop it, 2K. Jaron. Oh, I'm putting Jaron on him. He's our DPOY. Uh, Jaren, he might foul out. He might foul out. But, like, it's, what, it's the best we got. Can we go full team? We can tell them what. Like, I, I mean, I'm not watching the games to know that this is how they're killing us. But we got to be able to do something different. Um, team focus is custom. I want to say, like, focus on star. Because being up 3-1, Nikola Jokic is going to have one... He's going to have one ridiculous game. It hasn't happened yet. Like, if we look at his game log right now, he still hasn't had his big old game yet. He's been kind of coasting in this series. 22, 15, 11, and 21. He's not put up 30-plus yet in the series. And he will. So I'm a little bit afraid. We need to, like, focus on him. But I don't know how to do that right. Defensive focus. Uh, oh, I guess protect the paint. It doesn't say like focus on star. Uh, <laughs> you game five. We, we're at home, so that's the silver lining. We, we've been very good home team so far. And we, I mean, well, I can't say that while we're also down 3-1 in the series. It looks as though we're going to win this one. Maybe. Unless they're going, okay, they, they didn't go on that big run that we thought they might have. And Jokic still hasn't hit the game yet. Okay. All right. We can win this. Jaws is being ridiculous. Donovan, please, bro. Please. Give me give me one game. Give me. I know you gave us 40 in game four and we lost. If you can give us another 40, I guarantee a win. I should. Should I make a change to my starting lineup? Don't matter. No. We're, we're winning this one. We're winning this one. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We fought all the way back. 
We fought all the way back to force the game seven. There's the a good Jokic game, not the big, big Jokic game. That's the Donovan Mitchell game we needed. That's the genre. These boys play 48 strong. I'm proud of them. You need to do it one more time. <laughs> oh, you need to do this one more time. Jalen, come on, brother. I can't be mad at 24, 7, and 7, but come on, man. This is what this is what led to some aid. Either we win this game and we continue to next season or we lose. And there is no next season. We, we did it. We completed the comeback. Um, Jokic, thank you for not having the game. Maybe he did have the game here. Oh, stinky Jokic series. I mean, maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to gauge Jokic. They lost. They were down. They were up 3-1 and they lost. Um, so actually, yeah, stinky Jokic series. How about that? How about that? This team wasn't very good, and it scares me. They had Rudy Gobert coming off the bench, though. <laughs> like, that means something. All right, well, things are only going to get harder. So that's that's the part about all of this. We barely got out of it by the skin of our teeth. So we probably have to reformulate our entire team because next season is going to be even harder than that. And here we go. 60s. Seems so simple. Seems so easy. But I don't know. I don't think we have a pick this year. Um, we have the 11th pick. Haha, -ha, that's how we make our team better. Now, um... The guy that we should pick next, is it Jalen Brown? I mean, he was good. He was good. He was just kind of underrated out there. He got, got us 230 pieces, bro. Never mind. Donovan Mitchell had four 40s and then stinkers all around that. John ja Morant just won MVP. He is a safe one. I don't want to keep trading the same position. Jaron might be the guy, though. I hate to say it, Jaron. You, you might be the guy, the, the odd man out. Uh, he has not made a defensive team since being on this team, which is not great. Of course, we pay him for his defense, so... And he's on the last year of his deal. Makes it a lot easier for me to trade him. 11th overall pick. And we could trade up to the second overall pick. Trade for Larry Market and Pascal Siakam. And these trades are not good. These trades are not good at all. Um, that's sad. Desmond Bain and Devin Vassell is an interesting pairing. It's an interesting pairing of players because that's a 40% three-point shooter. That's a 38% three-point shooter. They would come off the bench. We'd get rid of Josh Hart here, which I don't love. It's a deal we will do. Desmond should get better. Vassell should get better. And now we move Marcus Smart for a power forward that we start. Because I think that we could get away. Now that it's getting to the nitty-gritty and getting harder and harder, I think we can low-key get away with going oh rob is on the last year of his deal too we might formulate this whole reformulate this whole team bro she's in the system and running multiple centers might be the move the problem is the trade finder is awful with it just going up by five the trade finder is so bad right now like marcus smart in the first round pick used to be able to get me a lot of good stuff nowadays it don't give me it don't give me nothing right now this is real bad because we don't have a ton of assets to move. I don't want to move Rob, but we might have to. Not there. Sheesh. That is crazy. Um, How about we prioritize bringing back Donovan Mitchell to start off with? I didn't even realize that he is not in the contract anymore. <laughs> Gary stuff happening. Um, let's just bring back Dono. And uh, the, we worry about the rest, and we got to worry about the rest. Give him the Please give him the money. Oh, boy. Um, we um, are, are, are losing Donovan Mitchell. That is a term that I should have been prepared for. Now I'm upset that we traded um, tr uh, Triple J because just losing Donovan Mitchell could have been our thing. We have no, we only have one more first round pick and we have to turn this team back to a contender. All right. I mean, I've done crazier things. Let's do it. I just didn't notice that he was on the last year of his deal. Like, we're a really expensive team. Look at this. We're a really, really expensive team. I just didn't notice that he was on the last year of his deal. And if I would have noticed it, I would have traded him last season just so we didn't have to worry about it. He gave us three 40-point games in the playoffs, in the, in the finals. And then we had to, we got to get rid of him. We uh, we can't get him back. That's crazy. You're going to trade for Wendell Carter and Caleb Martin to start off with. You're going to trade for Keegan Murray and Larry Marketing. You're going to trade uh, a couple players for a first-round pick and Marcus Sasser. We need to get our first round capital back up because we are with zero of those things. So uh, uh, there's another first round pick. And now we could potentially, I don't know. I don't know exactly how we play this. I mean, the fact that we're starting the season means that nobody's selling just yet. I think that if we started simulating with this lineup right here, we should still be good enough to, to be good, good enough to be good. 
and then at the deadline hope that something opens up where a team is selling where we can use a few of these first round picks and one of the players that are on the expiring deals or something and upgrade the team that way the problem is it seems like oh wait 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 wait, chris paul oh he's still on 22 million you're 40. um it seems like making those trades that we normally do we finesse gms is it's a dead mission at this point uh because the trade difficulty has really hindered the amount of movement we can actually do so uh you know I, I, I'm not giving up for show. Sure. We want at least three. At least three. Actually, three would be a disappointment. We want more. I want to get to it to the trade difficulty and everything is up to a hundred. So we gotta really work in order to do that. So I'm just I'm stockpiling first round picks for a potential big time splash because we will have the contracts for them for sure. Um, with like Larry Market and Bang, like we gonna we're definitely gonna have contracts. We have to move Robert Williams regardless because we won't be able to resign him. So. We just need to be good right now and let this team do that. Because, again, this team's good. This team is really good. Unfortunately, the selling teams do not have great stuff. Kyrie is an option, but we already have John Morant. That backcourt won't be able to defend anything. Um, other rebuild is selling teams. Kay Cunningham, Mikel Bridges. We can't do. We can't get Mikel Bridges back. Um, Brandon Miller's not untouchable. Darius Garland's not untouchable. But do those guys fit what we want to do? Uh, Jalen Green, not untouchable. Jalen Smith Jr., not untouchable. But Jalen Smith, at least. Jalen Smith. What am I talking? Jabari Smith Jr. Um, is up for an extension. And he's only got two badges? How? I'm not here for it. Um, and B is, is not able to be got by me. Um, we can maybe... No, we can't go get Bam. He's on the last year of his deal. Uh, how are you buying? You're the worst team in the league by by far you have nine wins at the break if you're wondering about us we're still good um not one seed good but we're only a, a one game behind that i don't know how to play this man none of the teams that we want to be selling are selling uh we have to trade rob regardless we just have to trade him we just don't have the money to keep him and he's been as consistent as can be on our team so i feel bad about having to move him but we have to. The problem is everybody that we would potentially trade them for are on one-year deals. Jay McDaniels, welcome to the team. Um, we, we're going to have to flip Jay McDaniels and, oh boy, Larry Market in there. So I don't know. I don't know. Forget it. Chaos. Kyrie Irving, welcome back to Denver. Not to Denver. Welcome. <laughs> I'm a lot smoother if I said the right city. Well, welcome back to Dallas. We're going to trade for RJ Barrett. And then flip RJ Bear because we don't need another wing on this team. Buy into the chaos. Buy into the chaos. Jared Allen, welcome to the team. Claxton, you are now a power forward on our team. Overall stays the same. We're, we're trying to outboard you, outdefend you. Our bench may be slightly mediocre, but we do have Desmond Bain coming off of it. And that's kind of clutch. We could go get a, a third string center. I kind of want to keep this guy around. I don't know anything about you, but you might be here to save our organization in a year or two, so I might keep you around, buddy. Ah, yeah, this has been a journey. It's so much harder to make deals now than ever before. What happens when you can't finesse other general managers? You struggle. That's what I'm finding out. You, you just struggle to get anything done if you're not finessing because you want to make the deal that make the most sense for your team, and then you end up, why did he want 10 million? That's why you're unemployed right now, buddy. Um, Chris Dunn is also on the play. He don't want a minimum, bro. Why happen to this one in a hoop for the love of the game? Why do you, you know, bear, I just offer you money to come play basketball for 11. You don't have that right now. Come sign this minimum, Lamar Stevens. Thank you. Thank you. I'm trading you, but thank you for signing the minimum, man. The first round pick here. I'm a little bit afraid that I'm like stockpiling first round picks for nothing. Because if we don't win this year, then these picks don't mean nothing. So... I'm going to see what the trade finder has to say about our top players. It's never going to have anything great because it's the trade finder. But we got to at least look. Yeah, Sean Morant's too good for that to be what we get back in return. Um, Kyrie Irving, on the other hand, definitely a player we should be looking at. Oh, they're offering us Trey Young in a high, high, high first round pick. I got to do the deal. That first round, first round pick is crazy. And I'm not using that first round pick. I'm trading that first round pick and Trey Young. And I can get Kyrie Irving right back. So I just finessed him out of a first round pick. Okay, so that still makes me feel good. Can we somehow flip that pick for something crazy, though? Like, you would think so, man. You would think so. And I can't put together the big monster deal 
because that first round pick is is not enough at the end of the day you know you need more than that we don't really have young talent we don't have any additional first rounders so the trade find is basically the only route we have. It's telling me, bro, it ain't the Grant Williams, Jared Allen. That should be able to get us a better center. I think we run with it and hope that we win the championship. And then that pick is going to be so valuable. Uh, yikes. This team is not ideal. But forget it, we've all. Jaw's done it again, which is great. That makes me feel good. Wimby's DPOY and everything. That makes me feel really good that John Moran was able to do it again. Um, we need it to carry over come playoff time again. First round is Portland. I don't know if I should slow grind these, but this team is really good. We gave them Jaron. This team is really, really good. We gave them Jaron and Josh Hart. That team. But again, they're, they're AFC. Okay, great, great, great. Okay, okay. I need to over. I need to stop overhyping these other teams, man. School Ivy. Whoa. Nope. I said no more overhyping. I said no more overhyping. And we get out of five. Come on. Eight more games. Eight more games. We hit the next tier, and we can trade that first round pick. Anthony Davis and Carl Anthony Towns. That's kind of fun to say. Car Anthony Towns, Anthony Davis. Can we sweep them? All right, all right, all right. One C versus one C. Dame Dollar in Miami. Heat fans, I'm sorry. Didn't happen in real life. They got Zach. They can't defend to save their lives. This team is not messing with us, y'all. Oh. Well, they didn't defend. We also didn't defend. <laughs> you know. Uh, sorry, never. Who is our coach? Is that Jacques Vaughn? He is not a good coach. Um, in 2K, at least. We're down 2 0. All right, so let's go fire Jacques Vaughn in the middle of the NBA Finals. Nope, I know you helped us get all the way here, but we're going to put in Quinn Snyder, who is significantly better than you right now. All right, now we've done that. We win a game, and that was as crucial as could be. MVP, I need you to shoot better than 2 for 10 for 3. I don't even know why you're attempting 10 threes. You're, you're Ja Morant. Run and dunk on them. Thank you. Four threes is more like it. Kyrie, pick up that efficiency, but we cool with that. Jayla Brown, thank you. And we're down 3-2. Okay, um... It really just was the Kuz, Levine, and Lillard show. I'm going to shorten this to six again. And we're, uh, let me back out of this. Do we want to change anything about this? Hold on. Um, do we just, I was going to say put Jalen Brown on Damian Lillard, but that opens it up for Zach Levine to dominate. Desmond Davis, you're starting Tari Eason. No, I didn't, I didn't sign off on that. We run double centers around here. Claxton is our guy. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, even though Tari might be having a good series or whatever, he also shooting 53% from three. Do we keep Tari in the lineup? He's been consistently good. I'm overthinking it. Just We got a ball. We got a ball. We got to go to Miami. Win, win a game. Win a game in Miami. Uh, quarter one is big on us. Quarter two is big on them. We have an amazing quarter three. Up by five with three minutes to go. Up by one with a minute to go. Tie game with a minute to go. We gotta jump. We gotta jump it, cause this could be the end. If you've been, if you ain't been around, when I jump in, we don't play. We watch, and we hope that our. Why did I flip the, my camera? I keep forgetting that they put it on this side for this game. Uh, there is Dayron Sharp giving up to Damian Lillard. Uh, then he gives it up to Kyle Kuzma. We got no Claxton in the game right now. We're running kind of a small ball lineup. Usman Garuba is in a Game 6 NBA Finals and just hit a 100% smothered layup, by the way. Usman Garuba just hit a 100% smothered layup in an NBA Finals matchup. Ja, why would you step back, Ja? You had the lane. He literally had the lane. Come on. Bang, back to Ja. All right, pull the ball out and then attack. Or go right at his... Hit that one! That's the two-time MVP, Demetrius Ja Morant. That's the two-time MVP. Big free throw right here, Ja. Big, big free throw right here, buddy. Hit this one. We take the lead, and he does. So, bonus is back in the game. Both starter units completely in. Kuzma, Sadiq Bey, Dame, Jalen Suggs, and Sabonis. You know what our lineup look like. They give it up to Sabonis, who finds Jalen Suggs wide open in the corner, and that is cash. I didn't know Jalen Suggs had it like that. Actually, I do, because he hit a game winner against the Bulls last season. So, I, I've seen him hit a game winner against... My favorite team before. All right, down by two. The good thing is I, I very much believe that Damian Lillard cannot stay in front of Ja. So if Ja keeps his aggression, then we should be a tie game at the end of this possession. Now, if, is he going to do something stupid? They took out Kyrie Irving for Desmond Bain. I don't know if I like that because Kyrie Irving is a clutch cuts player himself. So <gasps> I thought he stepped back court. Clear out the lane. Now, this is the problem with the double bigs. I will say it is a little bit more congested than it needs to be. Um, Jared Allen with another. 
We've seen two 100% smothered layups go in. Oh my god. Bro, if smothered layups went up, went that good in the league that I play in, then I would be undefeated. I got Wimby on my team. We take smothered layups all the time. All right, let's get this stop. 10 seconds to go for Damian Lillard. The action starts. Jalen Suggs comes off some screens. Not, nothing there. Dame is trying to put this series away for the Miami Heat. Three seconds. Ja Morant, great contest, Ja. Great contest, Ja. We're going to an NBA Finals overtime game. The second one of the series. It also went to Game 7 and Game 1. So these two teams are evenly matched. At least I think. I, I, I mean, honestly, I do believe we're better than them. Um, we did not see Zach Levine at all. Did Zach Levine foul out? He's played 30 minutes, and he, do, he did foul out. All right, so that's a plus for us. We get to see Sadiq Bey and Kuzma over Zach Levine, so we'll take that. I am also um, definitely not watching five minutes of overtime, but we, we will jump in if we need to uh, to watch another one, but let's get into it. Five minutes to go. We're up by five with 55 seconds to go. We're up by three with 55 seconds to go. Up by four. Ladies and gentlemen, your Dallas Mavericks live to see a game seven. Ja with a triple-double. Kyrie with a double-double. Desmond Bay with 30 of them things. This was great. One game to go. One game to go. Can we say it together? One game to go. And I think we got home court advantage. We do. Dallas, amazing first quarter. The series is over. They're not coming back. They're not coming back, ladies. No, they're not coming back. We see another year. We get 65, 65. Let's go. Okay. Will this pick be super valuable? Hello? <laughs> it didn't end up being super valuable. Okay. Um, it, well, it turns into an unprotected next year. Dang. Because it, it was top three protected. I do remember that. And now it's only got two star value. Ah, that's frustrating. I have no idea what direction we go in now. Because the selling teams won't have anything that we care about right now. Uh, like, yeah, Shingun, that doesn't really help us too much. LaMelo's not untouchable. Uh, Trey Young, yeah, we you don't really need that. Upper and Shingun is the guy. I hate it, but that's the only thing we had, man. It's the only thing we had. Traded for Jamal Murray in the second overall pick. Remember, this is 5% harder than last season. So I feel like we got to keep our foot on the gas and make a legendary move. Porzingis and Bruce Brown, welcome to the team. Legendary moves. Two seven-ish seven, seven footers. That's a problem when you go super deep into the game of 2K, though. It becomes so hard to pull off even the simplest trades because everybody's making like max money at that point. And uh, I thought about that for a split second. It just makes it just so hard to just pull off the simplest stuff. Also, again, the trade difficulty is higher now. So it, that also make, makes it more difficult. But uh, yeah, I have the least amount of confidence going into this year, I think. I'm going to try my hardest. Like I said, no stone unturned, but it ain't looking. Great. This is the best we can do. The bench is awful. Regular season, we could probably get away with eight. And then after that. Oh, boy. This is chat. I called you chat. Oh, my God. I streamed one time, and now I'm saying chat. I, I, there's there's no way. There's no way to get better. There's. I've been looking. I swear to you, I've been looking. I've tried. I've tried. You just have to get lucky. Keep this first round pick to the deadline and hope that somebody's selling that we can afford. Starting off the season with two, three, oh, oh man. Oh boy, all right, all right. Again, I tried it, wasn't much left. <sighs> the best thing we can do, John Murray still made an all me 18. The best thing we can do as a two seed over here is to shorten our rotation to six and say, A starters and Desmond Bain. We give it, we gotta give it everything we got. Evan Mobley, Tyrese Maxey, and Stuff is this is this is uh, team. They're a playing team. They win the first game. Eat early. Uh, I don't know anything about you, brother, but we, we can't we can't have you dominate. Okay, so we win the next game. Come on, boys. We're down two one to a playing team. Drew Eubanks had to get minutes because two of our players fouled out. Drew Eubanks, seventy five overall. <laughs> Two two. I just don't. I don't. This is the least amount of confidence I've had in a video like ever. Two two. Three two. Them. This is where we say, "Hey, Desmond Bain, 
Are you playing a good series so far? Yeah, yeah, actually, you are. You are playing a really good series. Um, a really, real 22 points per game. You're playing better than Kyrie right now. You're starting over Kyrie. You're starting over Kyrie. Kyrie just fell off. John Morant, you're playing every single minute. Uh, Jalen Brown, you're playing every single minute. Thank you, Jalen. Here we go. 3-2 series them. Simcast these, baby. We've been here before. We've been in worse positions before. These previous seasons, yeah. We've been in way worse positions than this. Let's get hyped up again. We win these. I think. We win these. We force a game seven, it looks like. We will be forcing it. They made it go to OT? No way. And we lost. No way. Bro, we had a pretty convincing lead. With like three minutes to go. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe that. We just lost to Tyrese Maxey, Evan Mobley, and er Everest early. Everest early dominated us in a seven-game series. 19 points per game. Klay Thompson didn't even do nothing. Oh, yeah, it's 14. 65. Did we just win 50, 55, 60? We won three championships. That's it? Bro, That this is a challenge way harder than it looks, bro. I don't care what nobody say. This challenge is hard. You're never going to get up to 100, bro. You just won't. You just won't. The salary cap stuff hurts you. Every, everything hurts you. Your team becomes way too expensive, so you got to lose Donovan Mitchell slash this player and that player. Oh, boy. Are you disappointed in me? I'm disappointed in me. Leave a like. Subscribe. See you tomorrow.